Before sunrise, dozens of boaters were back on the water to join those search efforts. Our Sky 4 flew over the Mayport boat ramp where teams set off on their mission. News for Jack's reporter Vic Michalucci spent the past few hours offshore and joins us live. Vic, when we saw you at 4 o'clock, you were with a boater who had that same positive energy going. Yeah, people are remaining optimistic no matter how long this search goes. Joy, as you said this morning, they left as the sun was coming up. Many of them are still offshore working tirelessly to find these two men. They're holding on to hope no matter how difficult the conditions are. Dozens of boats heading out offshore this morning. Another day of a long and meticulous search for the two missing firefighters and their boat. Jacksonville firefighter and paramedic Brian McClooney and his friend Justin Walker, a firefighter from Virginia, haven't been heard from since Friday when they launched out of Port Canaveral. These guys are well trained. They know what they're doing. We're hoping, uh, hoping they've, uh, they've got this under control. We are covering the search from our Sky 4 helicopter and Marine 4 aboard with the Freedom Boat Club. There's always hope. You, there's always hope for these guys. Burke Bell taking us on the water to see the conditions for search and rescue crews. We too are looking for these missing firefighters offshore. They are actually on a center console boat very similar to this one. It's 24 feet long and it has a bimini T-top just like this, which makes it stand out of the water eight to nine feet and that is a good thing for search and rescue crews who are scanning the horizon also the weather is helpful today over the weekend it wasn't great today is the best yet we can see for miles into the distance we saw fireboats as well as private ones taking part in the search combing the area from St. Augustine to Brunswick up to 60 miles off the shore. The Coast Guard, the lead search crew flying helicopters and planes. They're getting help from U.S. Customs, police and private aircraft, all remaining optimistic that the missing boaters will be found soon. I think it has a good chance. Uh, you know, the Coast Guard, these guys searching, they're professionals, they know what they're doing. And a lot of people have been asking us, how can they help? Well, if you have a boat, you can contact JFRD or the Coast Guard. See if you can go offshore and be a part of that. These firefighters and these volunteers are paying for their own fuel and they're using personal vessels. So if you want to help chip in, pay for some of their gas because it is getting expensive as the hours go on, you can contact JFRD. We've posted a link to their donation page on our website, news for jacks Dot com. We're live tonight. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.